I always give away too much mm. It's like I've got no sense of touch I'm always pouring out my heart No little by little here I'm always pushing things too far Hello guys, welcome to a little vlog, a travel one. It's so exciting. These are my absolute favorite videos in the world. I love, love, love being away, traveling, like just, it makes me so happy to edit these and like to see them back because I can just relive my travels and I love it. I love my weekly vlogs, don't get me wrong, but my travel vlogs are where my heart is. If you're new here, my name is Jess. I do a lot of lifestyle, fashion, travel, weekly vlogs, like a bit of everything and today i'm in san francisco and i'm buzzing i'm currently staying at the line hotel which is beautiful i actually stayed at the line in la as well and it's just a gorgeous hotel really like modern beautiful clean crisp like just gorgeous gorgeous decor um and i've just checked in i'm gonna get myself relaxed have a little coffee have a little shower and just try relax for about an hour before I head to the rooftop for some drinks because this hotel has Alfred's coffee attached downstairs, which is the best coffee ever. In LA, Alfred's was the only thing I had. Like it was so, so, so good. And um, they also have like a rooftop bar, which is called, I can't remember the name. I'll tag it when I go up there. It's called Rise something. I can't remember. I'll find out and tag it. But I'm going to quickly give you a room tour and then get myself a little bit unpacked and work out what I'm wearing for dinner tonight because I have absolutely no idea what to wear. Um, I've got a few little options and I think I'm just going to go for something like kind of simple. But let's get unpacked. I also, after getting off the flight, the first thing I did when I got here was get myself a pumpkin spice latte because I'm in America and it's the home of the pumpkin spice latte. So, you know, your girl could not resist. I'm in heaven. But we actually flew here on an airline called Norse which is quite a new airline, beautiful plane. We flew in premium and it was the best flight, like comfort wise, I've had in a really, really long time. The seats recline really far back. The little foot rest bit goes up. I didn't sleep because we left at 10 this morning and it was like a direct flight, but we basically landed here at 1.30 here, but like nine something at home. And I thought, you know what? I'm just not gonna sleep. I'm gonna power through, be exhausted later, and hopefully I'll get on time really quickly. I was planning to go down to the gym and just do a bit of walking on the treadmill because I just feel like I need to get my steps in, but I haven't done it yet. But I recommend Norse. So they do a lot of American flights. So I know you can fly to like New York and stuff with them as well. And they're a really good budget transatlantic airline. I would 100% fly with them again. Um, and I highly recommend. It was really, really good. The food was great. I eat vegan mainly and the food was really, really good. I had like a nice little, it was kind of like a noodle, Thai green tofu kind of vibe. Really delicious. And then for my like later snack thing, I had this really nice salad. So really, really good. And um, yeah, let me give you a room tour so I can get in the shower because I really want to shower right now. So this is the room. I'll give you a little pan around because it's kind of hard to show you when the windows are so big because it just makes the whole room look quite dark. But the view is gorgeous, very American. I love it. I've got this little coffee bar situation going on here with a little taste of home. We've got some compostable coffee pods from Grind. I love Grind coffee so much. Little coffee machine going here. This is actually the Grind machine, which interestingly, I really wanted to buy. So I'm kind of glad I can try it out before I buy it because it just looks really aesthetic and I love it. A uh, little mini bar here. Probably not going to get anything out of this, but apparently there's a little mini bar situ going on. So we've got some little snack. Oh my God, look how cute it is. It's all lined up. There's lots of drinks and stuff in there. Um, so that's really good. If you wanted those, little seating area here, which is gorgeous. I have some work bits to do, so I'm probably gonna plonk myself here later and just get some bits done. Um, maybe, you know, just get some editing done for this evening. Gorgeous lights, I love this. If my ceilings were tall enough at home, I would so have lights like this, they're just stunning. And then this is the bed, really beautiful lights again. The decor here is absolutely stunning. I am obsessed. This is how I would decorate my home if I had a home to decorate that wasn't rented you know <laughs> but yeah beautiful bed can't wait to get in that all to myself little wardrobe here which has some hangers and some little bits and pieces like robes and stuff which is really nice and then in here we've just got the toilet in there and then this gorgeous bathroom with these stunning stunning green tiles i feel like i need to film something in here like this is just beautiful this is so much home inspo massive mirror here which is really nice and then <laughs> my trousers are all like folded over funny um big mirror here which is gorgeous again Cowshed products which smell amazing. If you've never tried cowshed products, I recommend checking them out because they do smell gorgeous. Um, but yeah, that's 
that's the room. So I'm gonna get myself in the shower and catch up with you in a minute. I think I might watch Kardashians while I get ready. But I'm buzzing, I'm so excited to be here and can't wait to show you around and just see San Francisco. If you know me, you know I'm like really big into angel numbers and since we got here, I have not stopped seeing angel numbers. So the hotel is 33, like the number 33 on the road. We went to um, walk into town and we walked past a tram that was 22. Then the room opposite me is 1122 and there's just been like all these angel numbers everywhere. We walked past a building that had 111. Like I've been seeing angel numbers everywhere. So I just know this is where I'm meant to be right now and I know it's gonna be an epic trip and I cannot wait. I swear, finding your way around a hotel is so difficult the first time you do it. I have no idea where I'm going, but I need to go up to the roof um, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna forget what room I'm in, to be honest with you. But for now, I remember it's 11.07 and um, I'll probably forget now at five minutes time. <laughs> But this is what I'm wearing. There will be an outfit video coming and there's also TikToks if you wanna go check those out. But this is what I'm wearing. And this is the Lush View. Two, five, six, ten drinks at the bar. No boundaries, I get too close. No little by little here. Cause I give my all. Guys, we're having dinner at the Taylor's Sun, so I'll show you what I get. Um, they don't have the biggest vegan selection, but he can make a couple of different things vegan, so I'll show you what I get in a minute. Okay, so I've got a tomato pasta, which to be honest, I'm a bit disappointed because it is literally just tomato pasta, but this is what they could give me as the vegan option. So this is what we're going for night one, and let's hope it gets better from here. Jump and rest the fall. I see no limits in the sky. Little pre gym snack at 5 a.m. I'm gonna have this serene banana lunchbox loaf because I'm a bit hungry and I got this on the plane, so I thought, you know what, just gonna give it a go. And then I've got some water and some black coffee. I, no little by little here. No, no. Good morning, guys. It's actually only 5 a.m. Um, I've been awake since 3 because we went to bed at 9. So I've brought myself down for a little workout because I want to try and keep healthy while I'm here and keep active. Um, and also I just really like using hotel gyms. I don't know why. So I'm in the gym and I thought I'd show you because this is way nicer than it looks online. And I'm a bit of a hotel gym freak. Like I love looking at hotel gyms and just seeing what they're like, but this is so nice. And they've actually got Pelotons as well. So I might do a little Peloton workout because I left my headphones in Ashley's bag yesterday. So I don't have any, but Peloton workouts are normally pretty fun. So I think we might do one of those and then maybe do some weights or something, but yeah, really fun. Okay. So we've got a little squat rack here, which is one of the like, what's it called? Smith machines. That's the one. And then we've got some weights. We've got a couple of benches, incline bench there, some mats and some different bits and pieces. There's actually this bit, which I think is quite cool. So they've got a bar section if you wanted to do some bar training, which I just think is really random, but really cool. And then when you come over here, there's just some cable machines. And then we've got a rowing machine, some treadmills, a cross trainer, some bikes. And then at the end, I don't know if you can see it, there's one of the air bikes. And then there's a couple of Pelotons, which is really nice. So I think I'm gonna get onto one of those and then maybe just work my way around and do different bits. But I can't lie, being in a gym that's this nice makes me just wanna use everything. Like this is the kind of gym that I aim to have in my future home. Obviously a couple of less machines because you don't need this many when it's your own gym at home. But this is the kind of gym I aspire to have in my own house. And I just think it's gorgeous. It's so clean and minimal and beautiful. And the Lion Hotel I think is pretty new, which is why it's so clean and new. But I love that I've got it to myself, so just get a workout in. Stuck on working on myself. Thought I was wrong and needed help. But I'm just different, something else. No little by little here, cause I get Alfred's coffee is literally the way to my heart. I'm so excited for this. 
It's only like half seven in the morning, but we're all up and early, up and ready early because we need to head out to a Jeep tour. So we've got like an open Jeep thing, and then we're heading to Chinatown for lunch. We've got an open outdoor cinema later for Lady Blonde and stuff. And I'm actually really excited for this Jeep tour because it's such a nice day today. It's like really beautiful weather, blue skies. I'm dressed like fully for autumn. These guys are in like fully summer. We've packed different <laughs> different climates right now. Oh my god, look at our ride, how exciting. <laughs> We've been given some sunglasses for the trip. <laughs> These are just quite something to be honest. This is gonna happen bad. This is definitely gonna happen. <laughs> Guys, it's Mrs. Doubtfire's house. It makes me sad. Woo! So this is the Jeep we're in right now, guys, doing the tour. I'll leave it linked if you want to come on this tour. Here's Ash, having a little moment right now. Oh, Leisha's gonna look kick. <laughs> um, this is the bridge, guys, how sick. Yeah, you're like my little performers. Uh, how cute, and I think it looks so sick with the fog as well. Apparently the fog's called Carl, and it has its own Instagram account, which I think is quite funny. But um, yeah, we're gonna go try and find a good viewpoint. My hair has, um, the, going over the bridge was an experience. I'll put a clip in, because honestly, it was the funniest thing ever. My hair is so knotted. Me and Emma have literally got like, <laughs> I think if we now. tried to go through our hair, we'd be like, <laughs> it's, yeah. <laughs> Okay guys, we've finished our Jeep tour, which is actually really good. I'll leave the company link down below, but we're now heading into Chinatown. We're just gonna find some food. We've got a coffee fix, because we're all starting to just, you know, go downhill a little bit. I've been up since 3 a.m., I'm very tired. So, I'm just having a little wander around and stuff. It's really, really nice, it's very cute. Um, let me show you. Let me fly, let me fly into the sky. Let me be all I can be, let me be all I can be. I come to a place called Sam, is it Sam Why? We come to Samway, which is apparently very famous. They have a great selection of vegetarian bits. I'm not 100% sure if it's vegan or just vegetarian, but I've got quite a lot of tofu going on. So I'm hoping and thinking it is vegan. Um, but I'll show you what I've got. The girls have also got other bits, so I'll just show you everything. So I got Kung Pao tofu, which looks insane. And then we've got salt and pepper tofu, we've got Chinese donut, we've got some spring rolls, which we don't actually know what's in them, but I think they're vegetable. With these guys, I've got some um, chow mein, but it looks yum. Good evening, we've been back to the room, been to Emporium Arcade, I'll put some clips over now, and it's basically like a bar that's also an arcade, so it's like triple floored kind of. There's like a photo booth, there's loads of games like Pac-Man and dance mats and all that kind of thing. Really, really fun, and they had like slushies and stuff that were alcoholic, it was just like a really cool vibe. Um, so we did like dance mats and things, it was so much fun. And now we're actually over at the ferry building and we're gonna be doing a little outdoor cinema vibe for Legally Blonde, and this is something I think they do like semi-regularly, I'm not really sure, but they basically have like different food stands set up to get like street food, and then one of the big screens so you can watch the movie on as well, and it looks really cute, like it's quite small, and it's quite a local thing, but um, it looks really cute, so we're gonna get some drinks and just sit down and have some food and stuff, and I am so excited, I literally can't wait, although realising I should have probably bought my glasses. But we're watching Legally Blonde, I've seen that a million times. <laughs> We have so many drinks. I have four drinks. Right. I can't drink any faster. <laughs> We're in a bar, we're about to go to the festival so we're having a quick drink beforehand. I got this instead of a instead of a tequila shot, because I don't really like tequila shots. I now have four drinks in front of me. Are you just using me as your cocktail? <laughs> Let me fly into the sky Let me be all that I, 
all that I can, I can be. Let me fly, let me fly, let me fly into the sky. Let me be all I can be. Let me be all I can be. morning it's um our third day is it our third day get in jess so it's pitch time um it's our third full day and we're all actually are you feeling bright and breezy i don't feel too bad i'm, I'm just right tired ashley couldn't sleep because we had too much red bull so i'm, I'm so wired off yesterday's red bulls <laughs> we had so much red bull at 5 a.m again though me too i actually woke up at five i was like yeah. oh it feels like a lion yeah it was that did feel like a lion yeah. it did but um my energy level is very it's low right now. It's yeah. getting chaotic. It's getting chaotic. But um, we're going for brunch at a place called Outlander. Outlander. Is it Outlands? Outlands. Outerlander. Outerlander. I don't. Why do people always do that? They're what the other? In the video of like the surrounding. It's giving like, organic. <laughs> it's giving everyone is looking and I'm a bit uncomfortable. <laughs> We are about to go get on a catamaran to do a tour of the bay, which is going to be really nice. So we're going to go under the Golden Gate Bridge, which is a pretty cool experience, um, and a few other little bits. But we've just been to see the sea lions, and they're all just chilling out in the sun. Um, but I'm very excited to get on a catamaran. We know me, love a bit of the water. I always run. Rather jump and risk the fall. I see no limits in the sky. No little by little here. No, no. Got stuck on working on myself. Thought I was wrong and needed help. But I'm just different, something else. No little. We've just stopped for coffee in the most like small town Gilmore Girls vibe place ever and my autumn heart is very happy right now there's pumpkin in there. guys we're in the redwood forest and this is mental these trees are so big we just saw a tree that is like approximately 1300 years old and it's so tall it's like 300 meters no 300 meters 300 feet it's tall. like three football pitches so this, this yeah is the real deal compared to the one we've it's crazy and it's so quiet okay, when we yeah. stop talking need to start looking for a little four leaf to get some luck look how many there are i don't know if you can see but they go all the way back this is all clovers that's absolutely mental all that I can, I can be. Let me fly, let me fly, let me fly into the sky. Let me be all I can be. Let me be all I can be. We're about to get on some little e bikes and head up to some wineries, which is really exciting. So, we've been in the redwood forest for a little while now and um, had some picnic and stuff. It's been really, really cute. But we're going to get on the bikes. Apparently, we're going up to, I think it's two. Uh, vineyards and then we're going to like this really cute place called I think it's called the Barlow the Barlow I was gonna say it's the Barlow or the something but then she said Borough Market and then it threw me <laughs> but um we're going to a place called the Barlow which is apparently like a really cool market that used to be a wine uh, not a wine an apple factory so um yeah it can be really cool but look at the bikes they're so nice. the little orange little orange numbers I'm very excited Ooh, 
Oh my god, this looks like heaven. This is hummus, and then we've got an almond butter, smashed avo, cookies and stuff. Yum. I always would recommend to have my tourism board, and mm. everything looks so good. Let me fly into the sky, let me be all I can be. 